If you've ever tried to read a research paper, you know that it can be really difficult. You read it the first time and you're like, oh, I kind of get it. And then by the 30th time, you have a completely different understanding of the paper. This can take hours, this can take days. And especially for someone who's a pretty slow reader like me, this is a super, super long process. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to jump into four ways you can use ChatGPT to make reading research papers a lot more easy, a lot faster, and get a much deeper understanding than you probably otherwise could just by using Google and that research paper. So let's hop into the four points. Before this video, I prepared a couple questions to ask ChatGPT about this research paper. And the first thing I wanted to ask ChatGPT to do was summarize part of the article for me. So I copy and pasted the abstract in of this paper here, and I'm going to link it at the bottom of this video in case you're interested in reading it yourself after this video. And I asked ChatGPT to summarize the abstract. So I wanted it to summarize it into three simple points for me. So you can see that it, it did that pretty well. It summarized that this paper is going to be about architecture of nonlinear real-time audio signal processing. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's totally fine. ChatGPT is going to explain it to us later in this thread. And it talked about how it's going to talk about drawbacks in the paper and how there's different fields and applications of this, um, of this algorithm. So let's say I don't know what nonlinear real-time audio signal processing is. The second way that you can use ChatGPT is to simplify whatever explanations it's giving you or simplify text that you give it. So I asked it to explain it to me like I'm five. I find this is usually a pretty good way to get it to simplify things. ChatGPT went ahead and summarized and simplified this paper abstract just so I could understand it a bit more easily. Now this is super useful if you haven't read the paper yet and you want to kind of just like put your mind in the right context to read that paper and, and to just learn a little bit more about the paper before you dive right into it and try to read it all in one go. So let's remember earlier when we were looking at nonlinear real-time audio signal processing, we can also just treat chat GPT like a conversation and ask it to explain any vocabulary it uses. So now chat GPT is going to go ahead and explain nonlinear real-time audio signaling. Now this is way cooler than it used to be because now I don't need to open another tab. I can have everything, all of my understanding of this paper in one saved chat here on the left. And this is just a bit quicker than having to Google things every now and then. It's like having a really smart friend you can just ask for understanding of this paper. Now, let's say after reading all of this, I say, wow, this is awesome. This looks so cool. But I still want to converse a little bit more with ChatGPT and get a better understanding of this paper. I can go ahead and do that too and ask ChatGPT more questions about the paper and treat it like a real conversation. Moving on to the third way you can use ChatGPT to get more out of research papers. This is mainly for computer science majors or people who are reading technical papers with some kind of implementation. But let's say after reading this paper, I said, wow, I'd really like to implement a recurrent neural network myself. How would I do that? Usually there's a bit of a barrier to entry getting into that. You have to read documentation. You have to do a lot of Googling. But here ChatGPT can now give you a very simple implementation all in one place of how to use it and even recommend you a library that you can use for the implementation of a recurrent neural network. So let's say I don't understand one of these lines of code or I want to understand something more deeply. I can always go ahead and ask ChatGPT, hey, what does this particular line do? And it'll go ahead and explain it to me. Now, the fourth way that you can use ChatGPT for understanding papers, and admittedly, this isn't very advanced yet, and ChatGPT doesn't get the details as well, but you can use ChatGPT to check your own understanding. So let's say I read this paper and I wanted to summarize to ChatGPT what my understanding of the text was. So in this case, I asked ChatGPT to check my understanding of the text, and then I gave ChatGPT a little summary. I purposely said video instead of audio waves because I wanted to see if ChatGPT could pick up on that I mixed up video and audio, and the paper is really about audio signal processing. And while it does acknowledge that it's not completely sure if I summarized it correctly, it doesn't actually correct me saying video waves. It does mention audio signals and audio waves a lot of times in its own summary, but it doesn't correct me when I said video waves. So this fourth feature of ChatGPT is not really working too well in the research reading paper department yet, but it will probably be a lot better in the future. Now, I hope you found this video helpful and you're going to be able to read research papers a lot more quickly and understand them more deeply. Thank you for watching.